guys welcome back to another video i hope you're all doing really well i'm so excited to film this video it is a much needed pre-holiday glow up because when i when it comes to holiday i feel like i sort of like have a mini let myself go beforehand just so that the glow up is more satisfying and enjoyable so today we are going to get my hair done in sheffield it's about an hour hour and 15 drive i'm literally in standstill traffic right now which is why i've just decided to start the vlog i've head i've headed off with lots of time to spare so i don't have to stress because i have slight time anxiety so we're due to get there at about half nine and my appointment's at 10 so i don't know whether i'll get like a coffee beforehand or something but it's a lovely little foggy morning it feels really wintry this morning which i'm quite liking to be honest even though it's that time of year where like you get to the afternoon and it's like spring and, su and the sun's out it's nice weather but yeah we're going more blonde today that's the plan of action for this hair and i'm really excited to just have some hamper time i'm also gonna get my nails and my toes done um either tomorrow or monday and then we head off on tuesday so it's a really exciting video and I'm really excited to spend it with you. Good morning guys. Yesterday didn't end how I wanted to. I got struck down with a Primark migraine. It seems to always happen when I go for like a proper shopping day and I'm like in the mood to proper shop. Like let's do this. Like I've got a list of things I want to get. I'm like really in the zone. I get a migraine. I get a shopping migraine specifically in Primark. I think the lights in there trigger it. So... I ended up just like dashing around the shops to get home because it was quite a long drive it's like an over an hour drive home so i was like i don't want to get like a really bad migraine because sometimes my migraines my migraines like just i can't do anything apart from lay down in a dark room so i was like i need to get home so i ended up just dashing around the shops quickly but i thought i'd show you what i ended up picking up and i don't even know if i showed you my hair i don't think this is the best time to show you really because i've literally not long woken up i'm just having my morning coffee obviously it's still styled from yesterday from when they did it in the salon but i'm really happy with it i just went a lot lighter as you can probably tell but you know when you've had your hair done at the hairdressers and you need to like wash it and blow dry it yourself it's got like different products to what i'm used to and it smells amazing though but yeah i'm happy with it nice and light for our holidays but yeah i went into I didn't get too much to be honest, I, I didn't need to clothes shop really, I was more looking for like little accessories, like I wanted to get a nice little bag and I also wanted to get a pair of trainers, I'll show you those in a second, but the first place I went into was Zara and I tried on a few of these shirts, they had some really nice pinstripe shirts um, in like different shades of blue and different types of stripes, this is the one that I ended up going for in the end, £22.99 which I thought was quite reasonable for a Zara shirt and it's really nice soft quality. But I thought this would just be really handy to throw like on the top of some of the outfits I've got. I've got like those little unitars with the shorts. And I think the weather, it's not going to be like a boiling hot holiday. I think it's going to be more like sort of spring. So um, yeah, I just needed like a light layer to just throw over the top, like maybe in the mornings and stuff when it's not too warm yet. So I'm really happy with that. It fits me really nicely as well. I've got the size extra small, I think, in that. And then... This wasn't on the agenda at all, but when I used to live in Sheffield and go to uni there, me and my best friend used to go in here when our student loan dropped into our account, and we would blow our student loan on bougie underwear. And I thought, for old times' sake, I'm going to go in there and have a little look around, because I just love Victoria's Secrets. I love the smell of it in there, I just feel like it feels so luxury, like it feels like a real treat to be in there, so I thought I'd treat myself to some nice underwear because usually I just go for the packs and multi-packs in Primark which is nothing wrong with that but I feel like my underwear drawer definitely needs to clear out and sort out and they had a really good offer on so it was um five for three on the pants and because I've got some really tight outfits through America I've got like those uni unitards you get really bad VPO if you wear anything too chunky and I thought these would be perfect because they're seamless and they're like invisible and they feel so soft you can literally tell already that these are going to be the comfiest pants but they're just like a little thong so i got a few different colors i got three of the like brownie tan colors because i like this type of shade then i got a red and then just a white for when i'm wearing like a white outfit um but these came to 
£27 for the five pairs, which is really good considering they're £9 each. They're £9 each, so I know it sounds a little bit steep if you're used to buying Primark pants like I am, but honestly, it's just such a nice tree and these will last forever. Like, I've still got Victoria's Secrets underwear from when I was at uni, like, six, seven years ago, so it just goes to show that it does last. Like, my Primark pants, I love a Primark pant, don't get me wrong, but, like, the lace and stuff, all the elastics coming out and they're just getting a bit past their best so we're gonna have a bit of a rotation i feel like treats like this are nice once in a while it doesn't really make you just feel nice about yourself it's like sometimes i don't prioritize i know this sounds a bit deep for some pants from victoria's secrets but sometimes i don't prioritize things like this for myself and it really does make a difference when you treat yourself once in a while um but yeah these are the trainers i went for so i had in mind like an adidas gazelle or like a samba you know like what all the trendy people are wearing at the moment but i don't know if i'm 100 percent sure on those i don't know if they're me and i don't know if i'd suit them um so i ended up going for these in shoe kids so these are kids trainers but i'm just not 100 percent sure on them i did buy them and bring them home because i thought i want to try them on with some of my outfits and i always feel the pressure when like the shop assistant has stood there obviously they're just doing their job but i feel like really pressured to like quickly rush it and um yeah so i was like i'm gonna buy them and take them home and then i can think about it but i think i might return these because i'm not 100 percent sure on them i don't know if they're just i don't know i don't know if they're a bit me but they do match the bag nicely this was the vibe that i was going for with like a plain black or white outfit i thought this would be like a nice little pop um but yeah i'm not sure on these they kind of reminded me of dunks and I feel like I'm over Dunks and Jordans and stuff like that. So I'm not sure. We'll think about that. I don't know whether to go and return them today and see if there's anything else that I like to replace them. Um, but yeah, that was all I picked up yesterday. I'm thinking pretty much there with America stuff now. I have got some bits coming from Vinted today, I think. And then we're pretty much there. It's getting so close now, I'm so excited. But yeah, plan for today. I think I'm going to wait until Monday to get my nails done um, just because if I get them done today that's like an extra four or five days of outgrow and um, obviously we're in America for two weeks so I want them to be nice and fresh so I think I'm going to leave it until the last minute to get my nails done so there isn't any more really like prepping and packing we're doing today um, I've got glasses, I need to round up, up some work um, I need to get to the shops as well. I need to get something for dinner tonight. Just one of those type of days, really. And then um, tomorrow we're seeing Sam's family. We're going to say goodbye to them. We're going to have breakfast and stuff like that. And then we're starting packing on the weekend because, as I say, Monday I want to go and get my nails done and stuff. So that's the plan. I'm so excited. Yeah, I'm going to have my morning coffee now and get on with the rest of the day. And I'll pick you up as soon as we start doing any more prepping and packing. Hi guys, it is now a couple of days later. I can't remember when I picked up the camera last. I think it was when I got my hair done. The morning after I got my hair done. Yeah, I think I showed you. Did I show you what I picked up from the shops? I don't know. Um, but it's Saturday now and it's about quarter past three. We've just had breakfast and stuff with Sam's family and said goodbye to them. And now what I'm doing is just starting to like make some small moves with the packing. I'm going to try and spread the packing across the next couple of days which might sound a bit ott for some people but packing really overwhelms me <laughs> again might sound silly to some people but like trying to remember everything it like takes a lot of like mental power for me so i'm going to spread it over the next couple of days just kind of like to break it up a bit and because we're going for two weeks i know that's not long for some people that's like standard holiday length for some people but i've not been on a two-week holiday since I was probably like seven, like it's been years. And then obviously my mum would have done the packing for me. Um, so I'm just gonna make a start today and then I've got tomorrow and Monday to like make sure that I've got everything. So what I'm gonna do now is when I pack, I like to do like little piles. So I've got like daytime outfits, nighttime outfits, chill outfits, um, dresses, you know, like that kind of thing. So I'm just slowly starting to bring in like piles from the office which is where I've just got like a mountain of holiday clothes that I need to divide up into little mini piles so I thought I'd go through with you what I'm taking I'm pretty sure I've showed you most of this stuff already um I also need to like cut labels and wash things as well um 
So I think once I've organised it into piles, I can then just throw them in the wash and then I'll know what I'm taking, if that makes sense. Um, but first off, I think this is one of my favourite things that I've bought for our holiday. It's that knitted two-piece from Pretty Little Thing. I'm pretty sure I showed you a try-on of this, but it's so nice and soft and I feel like this is like the perfect thing for the weather out there at the moment. Although I've seen a couple of people who are like in LA and stuff at the moment and they were wearing like jeans and a denim jacket and like semi wrapped up. So I hope I'm not like being too optimistic thinking that I'm gonna be able to wear this stuff. Um, but hopefully we'll be okay. I'm just looking at this now, it's got all like marks on the front of it. I don't know if it's meant to be like that, I don't know. But yeah, this is the first thing. So that's like a daytime chill outfit, I think. I'm thinking of pairing that with just like trainers or something um, to wear in the day. This is another daytime option. I think I'm gonna wear this to Graceland. This is my Priscilla Presley little dress. Cause number one, it's comfy. It's long sleeves. Cause I don't think in Memphis, it's gonna be very warm and it's really nice and soft. And I thought with some little socks and some trainers, it will just be like a nice comfy daytime outfit. So I'm just going through and cutting the labels off as I do this. And then I'm gonna chuck them in the wash. Our washing machine is doing overtime. <laughs> Cause we've got all of our normal stuff that, that's been in the wash bin all week, obviously. And then we've got all of our, both of our holiday stuff. So we're doing back to back washes today. I then got this little crochet top, which I love. I'm planning on wearing this with, I've ordered some Levi jeans off of Vintage. So I'm hoping that they arrive in time. They're like 501 Levi, did I say jeans? Shorts, I mean, denim shorts. And I've also got a denim skirt that goes really nicely with this. So that's another daytime option. Put that in the daytime pile. Then I've just got this comfy little tee. I'm gonna put this with like either denim shorts, denim skirt, that kind of vibe. I've also got like a pleated skirt that I could wear this with. Just like a comfy option to have. Um, I think that was a pretty little thing. Most of this stuff is pretty little thing. Um, this ple this is the pleated skirt I'm talking about. This is from O Polly, I think. Um, but it's really heavy and thick material. Um, I've also got like a plain white t-shirt that I'll probably end up wearing with this, to be honest. Um, here it is. This is the Abercrombie and Fitch one. So I think that'd be like a cute little outfit with the white t-shirt and some trainers so that's going in the daytime pile this is to also just see like what i've actually got and like i'm probably gonna have way too many comfy things knowing me anyway put these trousers in the pile i don't know if they really fit me they're a bit too short but they're bershka and they're really nice fitting like on the bum gives you like a really nice peachy bum but they are just a bit too short they're like ankle bashers so i'm not 100 percent sure if i'm taking these but i'm going to put them in the evening pile and then we'll see how many outfits i've actually got for the evening because i thought this these with like a nice little top and some heels might be like a nice nicer evening outfit if i don't want to wear a dress because i'm not always in the dress mood um but yeah this is the denim skirt that i was talking about um, that I can wear with a little crochet top or like just a plain t-shirt if we're having more of a chill day. I would say I'm hoping that I can actually wear my shorts and my skirt. I don't know if I'm a bit, a bit optimistic. Um, but I have bought like denim jacket. I have got um, a denim jacket that I picked up on Vinted. I'll show you that now actually while we're on the topic. This was an absolute bargain and it was exactly what I was looking for. It's like a proper vintage pale levi denim jacket it's such good quality and i think i paid like 11 pounds for this or something but it's cropped and it's in like a pale denim which is like my favorite type of denim so i can wear this with um the thought process behind this is just like throwing on if it is a little bit cooler than i'm expecting i've got these which i think would look really nice under a denim jacket they're just like little unitars really stretchy really comfy these will be like daytime exploring outfits when we're like walking around chilling in the daytime such nice quality like this white one not see-through at all and look how pretty the back is it's like a crisscross back and it's got like little they're not shoulder pads but like little straps thick straps like that which is always quite flattering so i've got a white one and then i picked up a black one this is a slightly different style though this has got a really flattering 
neckline i don't know if you can see that it's like a square neckline but that's little shorts as well um but either of these with a denim jacket i think would work and then i'm like a little bit more wrapped up if it is a little bit cooler than i'm expecting i also i'm pretty sure i showed you this the other morning after my hair appointment i went shopping i've already put it in the case and just picked up this striped shirt because i thought this would be a nice option to like throw throw on it either over those unitards or like when i'm wearing denim shorts and stuff like that it's just an extra layer isn't it that can go in the daytime pile um what else have we got here a little tennis dress that i picked up from opoly again the softest fabric i think this is actually bow and tee yeah it is bow and tee but what i love about it under here it's like little shorts so even though it's quite a short dress you secure in there with your little shorts um and i'd wear this with like a denim jacket over the top as well if it's not warm enough to just go with the dress but it's got like little details there i quite like this it's so soft as well i can't get over the softness of these which will be handy as well when we're like doing internal flights and stuff like that this is hollister i actually bought this it's got pockets i didn't realize i bought this when we did our dubai holiday last year and i pretty much lived in it i wanted to get it in white they didn't have my size but it's just such a handy dress to throw on is this shorts underneath as well i think this yeah this is shorts underneath as well but it's, it looks like a really flowy like elegant dress and i was finding myself throwing this on most mornings you know like to go down to breakfast and stuff like that as i keep saying i don't know if it's going to be warm enough for this type of thing obviously in dubai it was like scorching so this was perfect in the morning for breakfast and that whether or not i'm going to wear it i'm not sure but i think i will pack it just in case um i'm like packing all these outfits and to be honest i think most of the time i'm going to be in like either those stretchy comfy unitards or like my Adenoga sets and things like that because it's going to be a very active holiday it's not a sunbathing holiday it's not a beach holiday as i hold up my little mini crocheted dress i love this so much i lived in this in ibiza it's so flattering it's from the brand addicted spelled like that and this made me look like i had double d boobs because of the halter neck string that you tie around your neck 10 out of 10 honestly i lived in that you know when you're like in your bikini like you're walking to the beach or you're like in and out of the pool and you just want something to throw on this was perfect we are planning on going to the beach like santa monica pier whether or not it's going to be this type of vibe not sure i'm going to put it in the not sure pile and then we can return to that after i'm just going to go into the office now and grab another pile to sort through right the next pile we've got this I've had for years. This is a top shop. Um, I feel like this is the holiday of unitards. I feel like every outfit I've got pretty much is a unitard. Um, but this is really old. It's from Top Shop. But it's got like a tie waist. And I pulled this out of my summer wardrobe because I just thought this might be a good option if it is a bit cooler than I'm expecting. Like I usually wear this over here in the springtime because it's really thick, even though it is short sleeves and short bottoms. You you don't feel the cold as much because it is thicker and obviously it's all denim and it's quite flattering with the little tie waist so i'm going to put that to one side just in case i want to take that i'm not 100 percent sure that i'm going to take that this is like a little dinner top if we go out for the evening just an option to put on with some jeans maybe some heels if i'm feeling a bit dressy but i'm pretty sure i showed you a little try on of this it's a really nice fit and it's nice and stretchy so that's an evening top I have ordered a top from Vinted that's arrived. It's down in the wash at the moment. Um, but that's like a little green, it's like a little sage green corset. It looks really pretty. It's from Opoly. This is another little top option. You can't really see the shape of it. Hang on. Um, this is a little top option for the evening. Again, with some jeans and some heels. If we're going to go into like a nice dinner or something. This, I feel like this is going to be the outfit of the holiday. I feel like it's the perfect like amount of coverage i don't know see we've looked at the weather i'm going on like i have no idea what the weather's like we've looked at the weather and it's saying that it's like spring type of weather here like 20s like early 20s we're talking but i said to sam if the sun's out it's gonna feel warmer than that i feel like 
But then I've seen videos of people who were there at the moment and it's like cloudy and raining. So you never know, do you? We'll see. But I'm kind of trying to cover all bases just in case. But this is that um, long trouser knitted little one piece again. See, I'm loving the one pieces. But again, this with either my little shirt over the top or my denim jacket, I think will be a good option and it's just so comfy so we're definitely taking that that was from opoly from but by bow and tea i think um opoly just sell bow and tea on their website and i got that in the petite as well because the regular was just a bit too long for me then i got this little three piece from again bow and tea i think i actually ordered this directly through bow and tea but it's like a three piece with some little flared knitted like yoga style folded over trousers they fit really nicely make your bum look really peachy and then this is like a little knitted i don't know if you're going to be able to see that properly but it's like a little knitted um like bralette i guess with a really pretty back and then to go over the top of that it comes with this knitted, I've been wearing this recently because I love it so much, it fits me really nicely, but it's like a grey knitted hoodie and it's got the O and T logo on the back and it's like a crop so it fits nicely. But yeah, that's like a little three piece to go together. So that's a comfy daytime outfit. The ratio of comfy daytime outfits compared to dressy going out things is like 95 to five at the minute so I think that tells you a lot about me and then this pile is jeans so I have ordered a few dresses I think again they're in the wash which is why this ratio is looking a little bit off as well um but I'm just taking my Levi I think these are 501s yeah Levi 501s to wear with some heels and a little top in the evening if I want to or in the daytime depending on what the weather's like obviously and then I've got these I'm not sure if I'm taking these. I don't know if I like these. My my dad and my brother are painter and decorators, and this just reminds me of what they wear to work. They wear like the white workers, like painters' trousers. So not 100 percent sure on those. They can go in the don't know pile as well. And then we can revisit this pile later. Um, I've already showed you my little vintage bargain um, denim jacket. Let's put those in the don't know pile. Okay, I'm just trying to sort of like get a rough idea of what I'm taking out of my wardrobes now. I've done the same with my shoes. I've like pulled out all the ones that I think I'm taking. Um, I've just got like a few heel options. I've got my little Birkenstocks that I haven't actually been able to wear yet because I got these like at the end of the summer. So I've not worn those, so I'm excited to wear those. Um, I got myself a new pair of superstars for like every day. I've got my chunky Converse because these are just so comfy to walk in. I feel like they'll be quite versatile with a lot of outfits. Um... I think that's all the shoes. I have got one more pair coming from ASOS as well. Then I've got like some jacket options up here. It's meant to be really cold in Vegas in the night time. Oh, just drop that. So I'm going to pack my furry coat to wear with the little dress that I've ordered. And then I've also just put aside this cropped blazer because I feel like I could put that with a few dresses for the evening as well. A little progress update. I've just started putting in things that don't need washing. This is sort of like the piles of washing that I need to do when I finish the load that's downstairs already on. Um, so I've just started putting in like some going out bits here. Then I'm sort of like just provisionally getting the bags that I think I might want to take. I've got my jeans in there that have already been washed. Shoes down here, I've added a few pairs of trainers since I last showed you this. I've got these, my comfy gym Adidas Oswegos for the long walks that we're gonna be doing. And I've just thrown these in as well, my little Pumas. Um, I feel like this is a bit excessive. I don't know if I'm going to take all of these because I do have another pair of heels coming. So I'll probably replace one of these two with the heels that I have coming. Um, but yeah, just getting through all the washing at the moment and then slowly packing it into the suitcase once it's sorted. It is now the next day. I've just filled my stand up with some squash to get me through this packing. It's 20 past 12. Sunday. I've done a Sunday reset, just uploaded it to TikTok so the house is nice and fresh and clean because I was thinking like 
the worst thing when you have holiday blues, which we will 100% have after this holiday because it's something that we've been dreaming about for so long. So when we get back, I know it's gonna be like, we're gonna be so happy that we did it, but we're gonna just be like, ugh, back to reality. So I didn't want the house to be like, minging. So I've just gone round and freshened it up. And this is the current situation in the dressing room. There is clothes everywhere. I'm trying to like slowly, pack it as it dries because our I don't know if I've said this but our tumble dryer has decided to break at probably the most crucial point because we literally have like 10 loads of washing and we've just hung it all around the house wherever we can there's washing over the chairs in the dining room every single radiator is covered but we're getting there I've put the last the last wash load out to dry now so that is it for holiday washing we're all washed and ready to go so I'm just like slowly loading it in as it dries the suitcase is looking pretty full i'm not gonna lie i've tried to like semi do an order here because we're obviously doing internal flights and there's going to be a lot of times where we're like unpacking our suitcase and repacking it and moving around i've tried to like be a little bit more like methodical in the way that i'm packing it so like the really dressy stuff is at the bottom and then the things that I'll just want to grab as soon as we land in San Francisco, because we land in San Francisco in the morning. So we're literally going to go to the hotel, freshen up. So I'll probably like grab some comfy things out of here first to change from the flight. Um, so yeah, I've just tried to like think with that in mind, with the order of the suitcase. Um, and then I just had a delivery actually. I wasn't expecting these to come today on a Sunday um, but I ordered next day on Amazon uh, Amazon ASOS I'm kind of gutted about this bag I'm not gonna lie I absolutely love a mini bag like anything miniature I'm just obsessed with I think it's so cute and I saw this little mini denim bag online and to be fair when the model was wearing it it did look slightly bigger and I should have measured with like a measuring tape and whatever but it was just one of those last minute orders and I was like I really hope that's big enough to put my phone in but as you can see there is like no way of that fitting in there so I'm still going to take this because I think this will be cute and Sam can take his man bag out and put our phones in it and I can have my cute little denim bag because I just love it so much so I am going to keep that um you could fit like a lip gloss and some cards in there maybe but I just love a mini bag how cute is it and I love the denim as well so I am going to pack that even though it seems a bit silly because I won't be able to fit my phone in there I wonder if my camera will fit in there, but it'll be like the perfect size for my camera. And then I just ordered this bag, just a little silver glitzy bag for the evenings. I've ordered some like silver heels as well for Vegas. This is mainly with Vegas in mind. It's very like not my typical thing that I'd usually wear. Is this going to even fit my phone in? Oh no. Wait, can we squeeze it in there? Okay, the phone just fits. That is a tight squeeze though. I'm not going to be able to fit much else in there and am I going to be able to get my phone out yeah um but yeah I just thought this was pretty and the did I show you the dress that I'm wearing in Vegas you'll see anyway when we're out there but the, the outfit is very out of my comfort zone but I was like how many times are we going to be in Vegas like I want to wear a fun outfit so silver bag silver heels and then the dress is like a black with like little sparkly silvery bits on it so I thought this would go well so I'm definitely going to take those two um so yeah that's pretty much the update of the packing situation so far i'm literally just packing things as they dry um but i'm pretty much there now did i show you my suitcase honestly i think i'm losing my mind i tried to like pack my fur coat <laughs> really strategically so that i can fit the most in there so when it's all packed then i can just fold that over um but yeah, I've also ordered a big fold-out toiletry bag from Amazon. That's due to arrive tomorrow. And it's really cool. It's got like a hanger on it and it folds out and there's like four or five big sections, which I thought would be really handy for this type of holiday. As I said, like we're going to be sleeping in like four or five hotels um, because we're sleeping in a hotel the night before in Heathrow because we've got an early flight. 
so it's got like a hook on it so you can literally just hook it on the door unfold it and then as you use things put them away so I don't have to unpack all of my toiletries and repack them because the thing with me what I struggle with is my toiletries all my skincare my hair care that is the one thing that is like the big bulk of my packing I'd rather sacrifice some clothes to make sure that I had all my skincare do you know what I mean that's like my thing I feel like you're either shoes bags clothes or skincare and for me it is my skincare so I've ordered like this big toiletry bag I'll show you as soon as it arrives tomorrow and then we can pack all of my skincare um, but yeah, I just thought that would be really handy and save me like unpacking and packing like around the sink and you can just hang it on the door and then that is the storage so every time I need something I'll just take it out and put it back in. Um, but yeah, today's just going to be round up packing. I'm going to get all of my clothes, my shoes and my bags in the suitcase and then tomorrow all that we'll need to pack is like my makeup, my toiletries, hair care, all the bits that I just mentioned in my new little toiletry bag. And then the plan of action is we're driving down to my family on Tuesday morning. I'm going to go and see my nan, my mum, my dad, and then my dad's actually going to run us to Heathrow, which is about an hour and a half from where they live. Um, and we're staying in like a premiere in the night before we leave, just because our flight is like early hours of the morning. And I just couldn't be doing with the stress of that. So, yeah, that's the plan of action. So we've only got today and Monday really and then we're leaving like pretty much first thing Tuesday so today I need to round up the clothes packing because tomorrow as well I'm gonna go and get my nails done I need to pop to the shops I'm gonna return those train it sorry I'm literally just word vomiting right now I can literally feel how fast I'm speaking but I need to return those red trainers that I'm not 100% sure and I've decided I'm gonna take those back because I don't think I need them and I don't think I love them I'm not gonna keep them if I don't love them um so I'm gonna return those I need to pick up like just the last few like toiletries and little holiday bits like that um get my nails done i think i'm gonna get a pedicure as well or i might paint them myself because that's just gonna add like an extra hour hour and a half um and yeah that's it so i don't think i'll pick you up for the rest of today because it's literally just going to be loading stuff into the suitcase but tomorrow we can have a bit of a pamper i also need to like soak off all my tan i might do that today have like a soak in the bath scrub shave moisturize um yeah so we're on the last two days of prepping and packing but today is going to be the focus of packing and getting the suitcase filled i'm going around and collecting all the washing that's drying on the radiators and on the chairs and literally all around this house so it's now the next morning it is the last day of holiday prep oh my god me and sam are so excited this morning i literally it's like i'm like i'm literally like we're both actually like kids on christmas eve this morning we've woken up just like beyond like just beside ourselves with excitement so and i've just pulled up to like our local shopping center it's 24 past nine the agenda this morning is i'm just returning those trainers that i picked up in sheffield that i don't like and i'm going to return them um i've also got some like parcels that need return to the shops um, I need to pick up like a last few little bits from like boots, you know, just like holiday little toiletries and stuff like that. Um, like some socks, just little bits like that, some hair bubbles. Um, so I'm going to nip into Primark as well. And then on the way home, I'm going to stop and get my nails done. I actually painted my nails myself last night. So that's done because I thought if I sit and have a pedicure as nice as it is, that's going to be an extra like hour and a half to two hours today because they really go to town the nail salon that i go to and i don't feel like it's one of those holidays where i'm gonna have my feet out all the time so i just thought i'll do them myself last night um it was a little rainy day yesterday anyway so we were inside for most of the day and then i've literally just got to put the last few things in my suitcase and then that is it so yeah i'm gonna go in now i'm gonna grab myself a coffee as well because i've not had a coffee yet um and yeah i'll show you my nails when we get them done i'm just gonna go for the same though they are severely outgrown though so i'm looking forward to getting a new set in all the absolute state of me i still need to tan and do my pamper but i'm just laying all of my toiletries and skincare out now at amazon delivery just arrived so i thought i'd show you the little toiletry bag that i was talking about because this is such a good idea i feel like i should have got one of these so much sooner i'm going to use this so much even for like when i go down south and visit, um, visit my family because even if i'm going away for like a weekend I still take all of my skincare which is like an obscene amount of bottles and potions and lotions so this is perfect so when it's all zipped up it's like this obviously it'll be a lot fatter with all the bottles in there um but this is what it looks like and then you can hang it 
with this hook and it folds down and it's like storage like this and these two sections in the middle they've got like the elastic here so you can secure your bottles in i'm just going to start putting my my hair care in there so i've got like my heat defense i don't think my dry shampoo will fit in there i should have got a smaller dry shampoo that's so annoying oh well um like my moisturizer a bit of deodorant there's so much space in here i feel like i'm gonna get everything in here usually i have to have like a separate one for my hair and a separate one for my skincare but look you can just see like that's not even like all the way full and i've got some big bottles in there and then it zips up in this one i could even put like my makeup or the bottom one makeup in there makeup brushes in here skincare in there and then it all just folds together and zips up I absolutely love that and then it's got a big pocket on the front as well so you can fit absolutely loads in there and i just love the little hook i'll just be hanging that on the back of the door each hotel room so yeah i'm just gonna pack up all of these bits obviously my skincare i'll be using in the morning these are my nails by the way um but yeah obviously my skincare i'll be using in the morning so i'm not gonna pack that now but things like this i can get away with packing um like my rollers my blow drying stuff my straighteners this is my makeup i'm gonna decant that into there though and hopefully i can fit all of this in there um i use just like my makeup cloths oh i didn't show you what i got from primark earlier actually um I just picked up some little socks because I wanted some that were like in between um, trainer socks and like my longer ankle socks and these are perfect. So I got a pack of those. I got some scrunchies because I don't actually have any like just black scrunchies. So I think that's a pack of five for four pounds. I thought they were nice. Um, I got some of these plastic Alice bands just for like if I want to shove my fringe out of my face. It's like a tortoise shell and a black one in there. They were £2.50. Then I got a big claw grip i always struggle with these because i need quite a big one to like grab all of my hair and this is perfect so i just picked that up again for £2.50 like a matte black um i got some earrings just in case i want to mix it up like when we're going out for dinner and stuff like that that's quite a big pack for £3.50 i know they'll probably make my ears go green but i'm only planning on wearing them for like a couple of hours so they should be okay and then I want to try heatless curls and I feel like holiday is a good time to do it so that I'm not putting heat on my hair every day. So I picked one of these up from Primark. It was £3 and you get your little clip, your bubbles and the heatless curler thing to wrap around your head. So I'm excited to try that out. But yeah, I am going to wrap this video up here because I want to get this video edited and exported and uploaded before I like finish off. But thank you for getting sorted with me for holiday. The next video you'll see will probably be an America vlog. I don't know how much I'm going to pick the camera up while we're there. I'm going to be vlogging a lot over on TikTok. So if you want to make sure that you're seeing all of the holiday content, make sure that you're following me over there because it will be mainly on there. But I will pick this camera up too. I'm planning on doing like one big America vlog. Um, so yeah, thank you as always for being here and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.